Welcome everyone to Hit the News. Today is February 24, 2019, the home of the two minute price prediction, as well as giving you all the news according to the charts. We're going to talk about a new cannabis company that's being listed on the New York Stock Exchange starting tomorrow, February 25th, 2019. The company name is called Can Trust. And we're going to see whether or not this is going to be a good thing for this particular company i.e. will we see the particular stock price continue to move to the upside or will we see this stock move to the downside so we are glad you are here watching this video if this is your first time come to our channel make sure that you all go ahead and subscribe if you do like the video as well go ahead and like and share this content as well because we are giving you all the news according to the charts without causing you any confusion of any sort as well, if you guys would like to know more information about what we do as an organization, go ahead and go to our hughfinancial.com website. There you'll get a little bit more information about what we do and some of the other newsworthy uh, aspects of companies that we cover there too. So now, let's talk about CanTrust. Okay, this was an article uploaded to the internet from the Investors Business Daily. It was uploaded on February 22nd, 2019. It is on the left side of my screen. Take a look. Canadian pop producer Can Trust will begin trading on the New York Stock Exchange on Monday, which is tomorrow, joining other Canadian marijuana stocks that listed on the U.S. exchanges last year in an effort to attract more investors. I would expect Can Trust is going to try to do the same thing. In listing on the New York Stock Exchange, Can Trust will join marijuana stocks like Canopy Growth. Uh, Afria and Aurora Cannabis, which listed on the exchange last year. And I think it was around uh, October or uh, August of that time frame, 2018, when those companies were listed on the U.S. exchanges. Um, this is what the CEO was saying about CanTrust being listed on the New York Stock Exchange. We expect the New York Stock Exchange listing will result in an expanded institutional and retail shareholder base, which is accurate increased capital markets exposure and firmly established can trust as a global company so this is what he said in a statement on wednesday concerning his company being listed on the new york exchange now can trust prepares to begin trading on the new york stock exchange many of canada's big producers are losing money as they try to expand and bring processing facilities online in an effort to meet medical and recreational demand domestically and internationally shortages have choked the nation's recreational market which opened on october 17th so they inserted this particular paragraph for the fact that can trust will probably be in the same camp as all the other canadian marijuana producers i.e meaning that they're losing money as they're trying to increase their footprint in this brand new industry okay this is some of CanTrust financials. CanTrust revenue for the third quarter more than doubled to 12.6 million Canadian dollars. In the third quarter for the first nine months of last year, it booked 29.5 million Canadian dollars in sales. As the bottom line, CanTrust net income fell 36% in Q3 to 421,241 Canadian dollars on a per share basis can trust broke even down from EPS up a pin. So this is some of the things that can trust do as a business. Can trust serves dry cannabis capsules and extracts to more than 63 medical customers. According to their release, it runs a 450,000 square foot harvesting facility in Pelham, Ontario. And the company also has a 60,000 square foot manufacturing facility in Vaughan, Ontario. They plan on creating eventually once they get a little bit more investment and capital into their company. They plan on creating new cannabis products for medical and recreational customers, as well as people who are looking for wellness, beauty and pet products. Wow. OK. So with all of that being said, OK, the only reason why we're doing this video is to see whether or not since they are being listed starting tomorrow on the new york stock exchange will we see a continuation of higher prices for this company so now let's take a look over at the price chart to see what has been going on with can trust 
on the Toronto Stock Exchange and this is it right here on a monthly time frame. You can see here over the last two months including this month CanTrust has seen very good and positive movement to the upside. Obviously you all can see here on this monthly chart that it is coming across some resistance at $13 because the market at last time was October 1st and then September was the last time that Cairn Trust came to $13. Okay, so uh, obviously a lot of individuals, people, institutional investors will be paying a little bit more closer attention to Cairn Trust as it trades around that $13 price. Now we did start off this month for Cairn Trust moving to the downside. Okay, the market came and did get hit with some stockpile but as always you can see here that the market participants came and decided to lift this price off of that six dollar price and ever since then Cairn Trust has been in an upside trajectory and currently I do not see any weakness coming into the market the only thing is paying attention to and around that $13 resistance area okay this is the only thing that you need to pay attention to to see if can trust will have enough momentum to come through and break above that $13 price give or take a couple of cents okay now we have seen a very good up move over the last couple of weeks for can trust the market literally continued to show us that it wants to move to the upside and this is how strong the market in can trust is moving this is the ascension line in this particular space and as long as this particular stock continues to trade above that ascension line this coin this stock will continue to move to the upside excuse me so now you can tell here we do have some sort of a triangle being shaped here we are coming across $13 so don't be surprised if we in fact do see some sellers come to the market and try to push this particular stock down to the downside on a daily price chart you can see here that it tried to do it on the 22nd of february which was friday the market did get hit with some stop pile and it simply came right back here to this 12 dollars price and it was still able to close towards the high of the bar okay so as long as this stock trades above 12 dollars we will try to break above our resistance line and try to hit that 14 dollars price in the very near term i just want you all to see how this volume has been on increase which tells us that sellers are coming into the market around that $12 to $13 price. So again, uh, a little warrant is needed to pay attention to that resistance area $13. But overall, I am not seeing uh, a true movement to where we're going to break down below $12 right now. As a matter of fact, we might just hit this consolidation of trading for a couple of days. And then from there, we should be able to determine whether or not this stock will be able to break above $13 and move on to higher prices. Now, considering the fact that we are seeing this stock being listed on the New York Stock Exchange, um, we can see the market try to move higher or we will start the inducement of sellers coming into the space even more largely than what it is just being listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange. OK, so keep that in mind, too, as we start out next week, uh, this coming week, I'm sorry for trading to see whether or not the buyers or the sellers will dominate this particular stock. Right now, I'm just literally seeing some consolidation to go on for a couple of days. That $12 price is going to be crucial in order for Can Trust to continue its movement to the upside. If it breaks that $12 price, understand that this stock will continue to move to the downside and try to come back in line to either $11 or even our ascension line that is drawn on this chart. Okay, so the battle is ongoing for Can Trust right now. Uh, we definitely need to see the buyers are in control of this particular market. The market participants are definitely leaning towards this stock moving to the upside. As some instances, you can see that it is becoming overextended. So again, we will see some sellers coming to the market. So you will require some patience and some keen eyes to determine whether or not we will see a breakout above $13. Currently, the move is the move is still stronger than it is weaker. So. As of this particular time, I will be expecting Cairn Trust to continue to move to the upside. I do understand that $13 is a resistance area. So obviously that is something that you need to be paying attention to. 
that's our analysis for can trust it is being listed starting tomorrow on the new york stock exchange give us your thoughts give us your opinion as to what you think this canadian cannabis producer is going to do do you think it's going to join the ranks with uh Aurora cannabis canopy grow afria let us know your ideas about this particular company to think do you think it's going to be a formidable player in this new industry again make sure y'all maintain your profitability and i will talk to you all later